Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to show a demonstration of using the Boom Boot Manager in conjunction with a RHEL 7 to RHEL 8 beta upgrade using the Leap tool. Boom allows you to make an LVM snapshot bootable, and in this example, we will create a snapshot of our root logical volume while on the RHEL 7 system, then upgrade the system to RHEL 8 beta. We would ha then have the option to simply reboot back to the original 7 environment by booting off the snapshot. On this system, I have a RHEL volume group with three logical volumes, swap, root, and app LV. Prior to the RHEL 8 beta upgrade, we will first create a snapshot of the root logical volume, and we will name that root snapshot RHEL 7, and we will use the Boom Boot Manager to make that snapshot bootable. This diagram here shows another way you could look at this. So we're starting with the root logical volume, which is at RHEL 7. Then we're going to create a snapshot of that root logical volume, and we're going to name that snapshot root snapshot RHEL 7. Then on the original root logical volume, we're going to go ahead and do the RHEL 8 beta upgrade using the leap tool. And in the end, that's going to leave us with our root logical volume that will be running RHEL 8 beta. And we'll also have a, uh, the root snapshot RHEL 7 logical volume, which will be a bootable snapshot using the Boom Boot Manager. So in the end, we'll be able to boot to the grub menu and either choose to boot off the root logical volume, which will boot us into RHEL 8 beta, or we can choose to boot off the root snapshot RHEL 7 logical volume, which will boot us to the, the RHEL 7 environment. One thing I want to know is that we are not creating a snapshot of the app LV. So whether we boot into RHEL 8 beta or RHEL 7, it's going to mount the same uh, app LV and the data will be available in either case and will be the same data. And if we write data in RHEL 8 and then reboot into RHEL 7, that same data in the logical volume for app LV will still be available because it's outside of the root logical volume. All right, we'll now go through a, a demo showing all of this. So to get started, we're going to show that we are currently on RHEL 7.6, and we'll also um, show the output of fdisk minus L, and you can see that we have a single hard drive that's dev VDA that's 48.3 gigabytes. If we do a VGS, you can see the RHEL volume group that I talked about previously, and then we can also see the three logical volumes I talked about, app LV, root, and swap. And if we run the df minus m command, we can see that the app LV is mounted at slash app file system. If we cd into app file system, you can see that we have a my app uh, file here. This is our application that's running, and what all it's doing is every 10 seconds, it's echoing out the date, the Red Hat release file, and the kernel version into the my app data file. And if we cat that file, you can see that it just simply shows that information, the date, the Red Hat release information, and the kernel version. Next, we'll go ahead and install the Boom Boot Manager with yum install lvm-python-boom. Boom is the package that will give us the capability to boot off the LVM snapshot easily. Once that's installed, we will go ahead and create a snapshot of the root logical volume. We're going to name it root underscore snapshot underscore rel7. And we're going to go ahead and size it in this example at 20 gig, which is the size of the original logical volume. Once we have our snapshot created, we will go ahead and create a boom uh, boot entry for it. We'll give it the title snapshot rel7 pre-upgrade, and we'll tell boom to use that root snapshot rel7 that we just created. Once that's done, um, boom tells us we need to run grub2 make config and redirect that to the grub.com file. So we'll go ahead and run that command. All right, once that's done, the next step will we'll run boom list, and this will show that indeed our root snapshot is set up at, in Boom to be bootable. Then we'll go ahead and run the leap upgrade command to kick off the upgrade from RHEL 7 to RHEL 8 beta on this system. Leap is going to go through a series of steps and a couple of reboots during the upgrade, and it will take uh, somewhere around 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cut the video here, and I will come back once the upgrade is completed, and we will take a look around and show how we can use Boom to boot back into the RHEL 7 environment. Okay, the upgrade at this point has completed. Um, it went through a series of reboots and updated the packages on the system. The upgrade was all done in that root logical volume, and we are booted up now and at a login screen. So we'll go ahead and log in as the root account. And once we're logged in, we'll go ahead and run a couple of commands just to show that we are indeed running RHEL 8 beta and that we're on the rel8 beta kernel. And if we cat slash proc slash command line, you can see that we are indeed booted off that root logical volume. 
All right, let's look, take a look at under app file system and we'll look at the my app data. You can see that we went from logging through the app that we were on rel 7.6 to now logging that we're running on rel 8 beta. All right, next we'll go ahead and reboot the server and show you what we see from the grub boot menu. Here we are on the grub boot menu. Um, let's take a look back at our diagram to kind of show where we're at. The top menu item in the grub boot menu is going to be the root logical volume, which is running rel 8 beta. We also have the rel 7 snapshot logical volume available to be booted from grub as well. In either case, if we boot from the rel 8 root logical volume or the rel 7 snapshot, we are going to mount the same app logical volume since that was not part of the snapshot that we did of the root logical volume. So back on the grub menu, what we're going to do is go ahead and boot into the rel 7 snapshot. After that boots up, we will go ahead and log in as the root account. And then we're going to run a couple commands here just to show that we are back in the rel 7.6 environment. And if we cat slash proc slash command line, we can see that we are booted off the root snapshot rel 7 logical volume. And if we run LVS, we can see uh, we have both a root and the root snapshot uh, rel 7 logical volumes there. If we cd into app file system and we cat our myapp uh, underscore data, you can see that we were running the app previously in the rel 8 environment. We've now booted off the rel 7 snapshot and the app has continued to run and it can still access the data that was written previously in the rel 8 environment. And again, that's because the app logical volume is a separate logical volume from the root logical volume where we did the snapshot. I hope you get a chance to try out Boom and the Relay Beta. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.